Here this is a quick overview on how to replace a clock spring on a Volkswagen. First you want to remove the airbag, disconnect the battery, wait at least 15 minutes before you start working on the airbag system. And you want to handle the airbag with care, um, keep your body at least a foot away, uh, one to two feet away from the airbag at all times because it could ignite and you can't get seriously injured. But to remove the airbag, you turn the steering wheel um, here 90 degree, you come through these holes here the screwdriver from the back uh, you have to lift up this tram that will expose this upper part here then you come with the screwdriver through these holes and then push on the spring and we have another video that explains here in details how to do that once you do remove the airbag you'll come here and you remove this uh, bolt in the center column uh, you remove the bolt mark uh, the position of the steering wheel to your steering column so you can put it back exactly the same way and simply remove the steering wheel now once you remove the steering wheel you have to remove this plastic trim and you have torque uh torque screws right there one there and one in the bottom there make sure you take that one as well and this simply comes down and can be removed uh, right here if you have a car with um, push start stop when you reinstall this you want to make sure you put it right there this ring here this it's a coil and it's used to start your car when the key fob battery dies and you put the key right against that but this has to be back right against that um, when you reinstall you want to make sure that your battery is disconnected again because if you don't have that disconnected and you turn on the ignition you'll trigger airbag calls and you need a scanner to uh, reset them but for this connector here uh, very simple to remove you have this locking tab you want to slide that down first and then you press on it and then simply remove it the same thing over here we have already moved this uh, locking tab right there we have pushed it out you, you'll pull it down with a screwdriver once you do that you click on this locking tab and then remove that and then the most important thing to keep in mind here not only do you want to mark the steering wheel so you put it exactly the same position but this clock spring it's good to maybe put some tape over that and then so that it's not rotating and it's not moving it's uh, staying in the same exact position uh, you don't want to spin this around this is not a good thing to do and then put everything back together because uh, when you start driving you can stretch the ribbon inside um, the clock spring too much and break it um, the other thing is if you put some tape you might get away without having to do a steering angle calibration on this but um yeah put some tape lock it in place and then you have one one two three um four six screws that you need to remove and they are t20 so you remove you remove those screws put onto the side you have a little bit of tape holding this in place so it's not moving and then just remove it out with care 